Hi, my name is Leigh. Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for joining me again. And if you are new, hi. Okay, so today we're going to be doing my 2019 favorites. I know this isn't my first video of 2020, but I mean, is there really a rule to when I could put out my 2019 favorites? And I actually wanted to make sure that I had all of my products, you know, ready. One of them I actually had to go to the store to get, so dedication. All right, so let's go ahead and cue my intro. <laughs> Hi guys, let's jump right into it. So I have a couple of items that I wanted to talk about. These are items that either I have repurchased in 2019, some of them are on the tail end of 2019, like you know, September on down. Um, some of them are things that I have repurchased. That's why I made them a 2019 favorite. So we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna, st I have miscellaneous items. I have hair products, skincare, and makeup. So let's start with the things that don't pertain to makeup and the first thing I want to talk about is a snack these are the now mind you I'm not really like a Cheetos lover like I'll eat it if it's there but I'm not like you know I don't gravitate towards Cheetos so like I was saying normally I'm not a huge Cheeto lover but my sister-in-law had introduced me to these Chester's fries flaming hots oh my god these are so good I cannot eat a whole, a whole bag in one sitting just because I'm not used to the spicy. I know it's probably not that spicy for a lot of people, but for me, it's pretty darn spicy. So I can get like three or four days out of a bag this size. And this has been a repurchase a couple of times this year because I have absolutely been loving them. Like, oh my God. So the next item is actually something that I just received and I'm going to be using in 2020, but I'm as I'm adding it with my 2019 favorites because it is something that I think is important to have. This is a little notebook my father actually brought for me. This is a no excuse notebook. This is actually a training journal. So uh, if you have been following for me for a while, you know that I actually have a fitness journey here on my channel um, where I have started my fitness journey and I actually started to document it. I did fall off and I might have a video completely dedicated to, you know, when you fall off of your plan and your journey and what I did to get back on track or what I'm doing to get back on track. Um, so that's this i just wanted to throw this in here just because i think it's a really important thing to have and it's an important thing to note so i wanted to um talk about that because that's on the top of my list of 2020 so like i i girl when i say i gotta get it i gotta get it so another miscellaneous item is my regular planner so I am the type of person, I actually have multiple planners. So I have one for my purse, which um, it starts, the one that I have in my bag that I carry around with me, it starts in July and it goes all the way, it goes from July to June. So in June of 2020, I'll need to get a new one. I've never been one to really get the ones from January to December, but this year I actually got one that is from January to December and it's actually pretty big. Uh, what I like about it is the size and that it the lines and everything are so big and I'm the type of person I like for my planning to look really neat and decorative so here we have like my January I don't know if you guys can see the colors but like I use colors I use stickers um, let me see if I can show you my first week in January okay so this is my planner for the first week of January, and as you can see, like I like to add stickers. I use gel pens to make it colorful, but this actually really helps me to stay on track. So I put these two together, and yeah, and then the one that's in my purse, that is um, from July to June. Uh, I think that's all the miscellaneous. Now we can start getting into like beauty products. So, um, 
I'll start with hair and then I'll move on to skincare. So for hair, if you are a follower of me or if you actually check out any of my older videos, I'll have some link linked up here. I wear my hair curly 99% of the time. Um, a lot of the times I tend to straighten it more often in the winter and fall months, like the colder months, just because come summer and spring, I can't straighten my hair. It just, it doesn't work. My hair will not stay. My hair in humidity, moisture, no, even sometimes my curls are too much and I got to put them up and then on top of that like sweat It just doesn't work. But when I do wear my hair curly I like to use products that like I, I like to use minimal products So a product that I've been using for a little while now like this is not my first time using this I just actually started reusing this towards the cooler months even though I've only worn my hair since it's been like fall I've only since fall, I've only worn my hair curly once. So I actually had it straight most of the fall season and mm, since the winter has started. But um, I'm actually about to wear it curly after today. Well, after tomorrow, because I'm going to the gym. But it's gonna be curly after that. So um, my Miss Jessie. This is the Miss Jessie Jelly Soft Curls. This is one of those products where it's like a one-stop product. I really don't have to add like like sometimes I use a little bit of a, a leave-in conditioner, but I don't have to. I can just use a really hydrating conditioner and that leave-in conditioner, this leave-in conditioner works just fine. I get really nice and defined curls. So the Jelly Soft Curls actually leave my curls really hydrated, bouncy, and it doesn't leave my curls crunchy. Like it works this, like this right here. It's amazing. So that's one of my favorite hair products. Now. Like I said, I've been wearing my hair straight for most of the cooler months. So like I was saying, I wear my I have been wearing my hair straight for most of the winter and fall months. So um, actually I use less products when I wear my hair straight because I wear my hair straight like in one go. I will wear it like this for two weeks without washing it. And um, at most what I'll do is because when, when my scalp gets dirty, it gets sore. So I'll take a little bit of dry shampoo, put it on my roots and like, you know, shampoo like the dirt and the grease off of my scalp. When it's straight, I'll wash it every two weeks just because it takes a long time to straighten. My hair is actually pretty long and I have a video on how I straighten my hair. I just have to edit it. <laughs> And um, I actually straightened this and this time I actually um, and this time I also trimmed my ends so when I wear my hair curly it should look good when my hair was blonde that's all this light brown down here and you can see how much of my hair has grown by like all the dark you know like virgin colored hair I'm, I'm probably not coloring my hair for I, I don't know I'm just I want to get into wigs because I want to color my hair but I'm scared anyways back into what I was talking about so I was talking about the products that I actually use to straighten my hair and I've been using these products to straighten my hair for about two years now so I've repurchased this and repurchased this and it my hair still comes out amazing so the brand I'm talking about is called the generic value products these are actually you get these at Sally's um, the Sally's Beauty Supply Store. So these are the products that I use. Uh, for my hair, I use the leave-in treatment with keratin, which is compared to It's a 10, which I've used, and it does compare really well to that. The next one is the concentrated leave-in treatment. This is compared to Sebastian Potion 9, and I use those two to prepare my hair for the heat. And when I'm actually using the heat, I use the smoothing serum which is compared to the Paul Mitchell super skinny serum and then I use the blowout spray which is compared to the Kenra blow dry spray now the ones that I have used like the actual brands I've used the it's a 10 and I've used the Kenra and I will say these do these they smell identical like it smells exactly like it and I actually was reading the ingredients on the side and it's the same so in this it's the same and it's in the same order so I figured I pay a little less for the generic value products. It doesn't look like the products that you buy, but it's the same product. So my hair actually, like my hair feels like I got it done in the salon. You know what I mean? And especially since my hair is natural, I don't have a relaxer. I really don't have any chemicals in my hair at all. So I need stuff that like when I'm trying to get it straight, it's going to get straight. You know what I mean? Because other, if I don't, my hair will frizz and 
like I don't know if you can tell but there's like little frizzies here because it's it just it just that's my hair that's that's what I got that's what I was dealt okay um for hair I think that's all I have now I can go ahead and move on to skincare skincare has been a topic that I don't usually touch on a lot here and I've never really been invested in it like I just never have but the past few months, I would say since like August, I've really been into my skincare because I noticed, and I, I'm well aware, I used to work at Sephora, a clear base is what's going to give you flawless makeup. If you have, if your base is not like up to par, then your foundation is going to look textured. Like if you have bumps, it's just, all it's doing is laying on top of it. It's just going to take away the redness. You can still see that that part is like risen, right? So I've been really into skincare. Now, when I worked at Sephora, I know it's, we used to get told a lot, you know, like you get what you pay for, so, you know, spend the big bucks. But some of, sometimes, like, especially now that I don't work there and I don't get a lot of that stuff for free anymore, um, I don't have the money to be spending like $80 on one product. So I've been on this hunt for products that actually work really well and are inexpensive and I found them I've been using them for a few months now and I've noticed a substantial difference in my skin um, if you follow my insta stories you know what I, I'm talking about so one of one brand I want to talk about is fourth ray beauty you can get this on the ColourPop website I believe they are in collaboration with ColourPop I think they are the ColourPop skincare line so it's called fourth ray beauty I use the um, rose milk Milk. This face milk is great for when you're going to wear foundation. It's great to have a nice hydrated base prior to and sometimes in the summer when it's really really hot or even in the winter when it just feels like the uh, the air is pulling all of your hydration out of your face. Um, that's when I like to use the fourth ray radiant vitamin C elixir this also helps get rid of dark spots or it helps brightening anything with vitamin C will help brighten the skin so I've been using these two a lot in this past year or these past few months now another brand that I wanted to talk about oh 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 oh, oh. and also when I have pimples this fourth ray beauty later hater spot treatment this is amazing it literally gets rid of blemishes like if you have a pimple that pimple will be gone it does burn a little bit when you put it on at first but you i I'd rather it burn and get rid of the pimple than to be sitting here with like a little friend on my forehead anywho so the next products I want to talk about are a cleanser and toner. These are two by e.l.f. Now if you get, I believe that they have this line from e.l.f. only at Ulta. I haven't seen it at like Walmart or anywhere else where they sell e.l.f. Like I haven't seen it at Target either. But I saw it at Ulta and I've only seen it at Ulta so far. And I live in the DMV area so that's where... I've seen them at several Ulta's in the area. So this is the um, Super Clarity, A. this is the Super Clarify. This is a cleanser with clarifying, I can't say that word, I'll have it at the bottom of the screen. But um, it's a really nice lightweight cleanser. So I use this in the mornings and when I wear makeup, I use this as my double cleanser. So I'll use this one first and then I use my night cleanser to get everything off. This smells amazing. It's very loose and watery. Um, it's definitely a hydrating cleanser. That's why I like it a lot. And like my face tends to get really dry. I don't have dry skin, but I notice when I don't drink a lot of water or exposed to the elements a lot, my skin tends to get really dry. So that has been helping a lot, especially in these winter months. And the toner, I've never been a toner girl. Would you believe it? Like I've actually never really worn toner until recently and I've noticed a huge difference when I have started using this toner. Um, this is my second bottle and it's to like right there. So it, it actually lasts a pretty long time and sometimes like when I got it from Ulta, it was buy one, get one like half off or 50% off. So it's a great deal. It's something I highly suggest if you are on a budget to take a look at. And when you go to Ulta, a lot of the times they have coupons and, you know, 10% off your entire purchase. 
highly suggest it. Go to Ulta, you're welcome. Now the last skincare product I wanna talk about is actually my moisturizer. I don't know how to pronounce this. I believe it's CeraVe. Um, this is the daily moisturizing lotion and it's so basic looking like I used to like pods and I also liked pods because it was in an extravagant bottle and it looked all fancy but um, it can be thick and I noticed that I can't wear that and wear makeup so if I am just like on a regular day and I'm not putting anything on my face I can wear it because it's a little it has a little more grease to it so I really can't wear it like on an everyday basis which is fine it's fine like it's a really good product but the CeraVe is actually lightweight so it actually pairs really well with any other um, skincare products that I put on I usually actually at night I pair it with my night oil which I've been loving it didn't make my favorites but it I do love it so it might make like my winter favorites that I do right before the summertime I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my favorite part portion of this and that will be makeup so we're gonna go ahead and talk about mega I don't have any primers that have really stood out to me there haven't really been any that I'm like oh my god I love this so much but uh, foundation yes uh, this has been a couple of years in the making and I'm gonna shake it up just because it makes the bottle look better so this is the Fenty Beauty foundation I've been using this for about three years now this is I am in the shirt 350 this is the pro filter foundation it is a nice lightweight full coverage foundation like when I say lightweight I mean like you put it on your face and it feels like you don't have anything another thing I like about this is because it's more of like a matte foundation in the summer if I wear this I don't have to like put powder on it to um, get it to not be tacky because it does dry down so you don't have to add as many products the next product I want to talk about, the next foundation I want to talk about is by Juvia's Place. Now there's been a lot of controversy around Juvia's Place as far as like whatever they got going on. I don't really involve myself in that too much. I don't really care if a product is really, really good. And unless you're like, like racist, racist, let's just forget about the controversy or whatever they got going on. I actually really want to try their foundation sticks. I love this foundation this foundation is amazing when I say full coverage like you are gonna get a base that doesn't even look like it belongs to you anymore like it's no longer your face there's no texture there's no nothing it is full coverage if you have any like scarring or discoloration you don't even need concealer this bad boy gets rid of all of that I love this so much it was actually my cousin she it was the one that actually put me onto this foundation because when it first came out I I wasn't really about the hype and like I said I've been trying to save my coins so because um, your girl's trying to buy a bigger house I mean you know or whatever um, so I've been trying to save my coins these are actually very inexpensive and you get like you use the tiniest amount and you can get full coverage all over your entire face so I highly suggest these this, uh, I believe it retailed for like 12 or $13 maybe. Uh, I know it was below 20, so highly suggest this. It was actually one of my favorites this year and I wore it in the summer and the winter. Summer, I may not wear it as often because it is so full coverage, but in the winter, yeah, you can get my coins. Oh, another product I want to talk about is my face wash. This is the Noxzema Clean, this is the Noxzema Classic Clean Cleanser. That's a tongue twister. And this, it actually smells like menthol or like, you know, like a mint or kind of gives you like that Vicks Vapor Rub smell. Um, this is my second jug, jar of this. Like this is a brand new jug, it's a brand new tub. It smells so clean and so fresh. What I love about this, this actually really cleared up my acne. I think that some of the products that are like more old school or things that they used to use, like, you know, like back in the day, they get shitted on because they're not like popular and thrown in your face but that right there that works so well and it's only like I believe it's like under five dollars if you go to the right targets or Walmart you get it at C I believe I got it from CVS at one point for five dollars and then I went to like Target and I got it for like two something so I highly suggest that you get a huge tub of it and it works so well and your like your skin feels tingly because it has like all the right stuff in it it's just not like you know glamorous but it works it don't need to be glamorous to make my skin look flawless so the next makeup item I want to talk about we've done um, foundations let me see if it's in here 
Next thing I wanna talk about is concealer. I only have one concealer that really stood out to me this year, and that was the Juvia's Place Concealer, and that's because I use this with multiple different foundations and multiple different makeup looks. This was actually my favorite um, concealer of the year. This is in the shade number 14. I have 14 and 15. I like how it's numbered, so it's not like, oh, I gotta find the name. But this concealer, it's very liquidy and lightweight, so it pairs well with the um, full coverage foundation because you're not caking too much on, but then it also pairs well with the uh, lighter weight foundations because it's not thick. So it, it went either which way, and I could also wear it on its own. The one that's more of my skin tone, I could wear that on its own so that you know my skin looks flawless okay so moving on I'm trying to not have this be a super long video um, I want to talk about my favorite eyeshadow brand like it's not necessarily an eyeshadow palette because there weren't any palettes that I was like oh my god I've been using this all year all the, the. but there is a brand that I've been using a lot and I've I think I really touched like I've used their eyeshadows before because I used to use the pots, but these are the ColourPop eyeshadows. The ones I have right now, this is a, um, they have the palettes that you make or that are like pre-made for you. I can't remember what this is called, but like they have pressed glitters, they have the powders, they have like the jelly glitters. They have these monochrome palettes, which I've actually been loving. And I also have a whole playlist where I do like monochromatic looks, so check that out. And then they have like these, and there it's a full palette, it has all the shadows that you need, and it has like these neutral palettes that you could take with you on trips and everything. I highly suggest checking ColourPop out because with what you would spend on one to two palettes, even three palettes sometimes in like Sephora, you can go on ColourPop.com and get multiple palettes and they come with like nine eyeshadows at a time like come on so i highly suggest checking out their eyeshadows they have been my favorite of 2019 just just try it try it you're welcome the next thing i want to talk about are their eyeliners i actually i'm wearing three of their eyeliners right now i know you're like three eyeliners lay i am wearing i am currently wearing these three eyeliners by ColourPop. this is in the shade electric daisy I have uh, Piggy Bank and Prance. And these are the three eyeliners that I have on right now. And I also use the black one, Swerve. And that one is actually finishing off. Like, I need to get a new one. Girl, I love those eyeliners so much. They're very smooth and creamy. And you can have it like the black eyeliner that I had, I've actually had for over a year. And it was still working. That's how good it is. Like, that's how much I love those eyeliners. So I highly suggest checking out those eyeliners. They're about like three or four dollars. And yes, again, all of this, you can get everything you need off of ColourPop. So I highly suggest checking that out. So the next brand I wanna talk about, I wanna talk about Essence. I feel like Essence is like not really talked about a lot. They have a really good mascara, but what I've been loving lately has been their Contour uh, Duo Palette. It comes with two different shades. It comes with like a cool tone, dark brown, and then a light brown. I believe this comes in two. This one is shade 20 darker skin so I think they have one for like lighter lighter complexions I'm assuming but I like to use this for my contour it's actually been working really well for me and it's been replacing like I've been trying to find that perfect contour I just haven't contoured you know the way that I want yet and until I'm able to make a video I really don't want to talk too much about it you know it's a touchy subject the next thing I want to talk about are lashes so I love lashes and the brand that has stuck out to me this entire year has been the XOXO Artistry brand. Um, these are just a couple of the styles that I have. I have the style Angel and Alex right here. I also use the style um, Icon a lot. Um, they have they have dramatic and they also have more like natural lashes. I have more of their dramatic lashes just because I do a lot of dramatic looks especially on um, on Instagram so it just doesn't make sense for me to get the natural ones because I'm really not gonna wear them like that and if I have somewhere to go typically I'm wearing dramatic lashes if I'm wearing lashes at all I've actually gotten into doing my own lash extensions which I have on too but you're gonna have to wait until I've perfected my technique to the point where I want to make a video about it 
I don't have any favorite blushes. There weren't any blushes that I was like, oh my God, we have to use this over. But highlighters, there are highlighters that I used a lot this year. And the two highlighters that I'm talking about is one is high-end and one is drugstore. Um, the drugstore one, this is the Maybelline Master Chrome and this is in the shade Molted Golden because I do like a nice gold highlight. This worked really well in the summertime because it gives you that nice gold look, helps you look all bronze. Everybody wants to be a bronze goddess in the summer, right? So that has been one of my favorites for 2019. And then the other one that really stuck out to me was the Fenty Beauty. This is um, Hustla Baby and Mean Money. They both work really well. One is like a more subtle highlight and the other is more of a in-your-face highlight. What I like about this is you can go either which way. Let's say I'm going on a trip and I wanna bring something um, that like I don't want to pack too much I can take something like this and I'll have a highlighter for like the daytime when I'm chilling with friends and then one at night when I'm gonna be taking pictures and I want to be flossy you know what I mean the last products I want to talk about are lip products so I want to talk about my lip liner this lip liner has taken over my stash like I used to be a cork girl by heart to the grave okay and then I found out about this NYX professional makeup this is the slide on glide on definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner what a name right and this is in the shade urban cafe it's what I actually have on my lips right now I absolutely love this this like this liner is is true goals like I love it so much I will highly suggest it to anybody who is looking for a lip liner especially women of color and you want a lip liner that's gonna stay on I can eat now and then I'll still have that liner and then all I have to do is um, you know put my lip gloss back on because that's what I have on right now lip gloss is put my lip gloss back on and you know we're ready to go for lipstick I've really been loving the Maybelline ink. I have a lot of videos, especially in the summer, where I'm wearing this color in particular. This is in the shade Driver. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick, and it is phenomenal. It is one of those lipsticks that it stays on all day. Like when it says Super Stay, this is one of the few liquid lipsticks that actually does. What I do like to do and I highly suggest is putting on a chapstick underneath and then putting it on. It'll last all day. You you really won't have to like touch it up or anything unless you put a gloss on top. Once you put a gloss on top, you've kind of messed up the integrity of the liquid lipstick, so then it's no longer like a Super Stay. But if you wear it matte, then yeah, you're good. So that concludes my favorites for 2019. I hope everyone had a good time over here. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Let's all have a great year for 2020. Let's put it out there into the universe. It's going to be a wonderful year. I'm hoping that my channel grows substantially. I'm putting this out there. Help me get there. So subscribe to my channel and share my video. Like it if you liked this video. And until next time, beauties, stay blessed.